I'm Dustin from Industrial Injection. I'm down here at the machine shop and we're going to talk about the performance cylinder heads from Industrial Injection on the Cummins today. With this Industrial Injection performance head, these are some of the things you're going to get. You're going to get the screw-in freeze plugs underneath the valve cover area. We do a hardened guide with a diamond honed and then it is also hardened to our specification. And then on the flip side of it here, you're going to, we're going to mill the deck on it. We're going to do hardened seats that are made to our specification as well. We do about a six hour CNC port. The porting machine comes in and does uh, blends all these, or doesn't blend, but it comes in here and it duplicates each port simultaneously. It takes about four to six hours on the CNC machine. Then we go in and hand blend that, uh, another four or six hours worth of hand blending. And then we come in and cut what we call our fire rings, or a lot of people call them O-rings, but they're a fire ring that we call them. And then we top, top that off with a upgraded performance valve that we have made to our specification. And then we top it off with a 95 pound valve spring. So on this performance head, one of the things we do is we pop out the press in freeze plugs because one of the main problems is you'll see is this long head when it twists under, when it distorts, these things can leak. They can actually pop out because the, there's pressure behind it from the coolant and pop out. So we get rid of those and we actually do a threaded hole and thread these plugs that we have made into the hole and torque in so that as it twists and distorts, it cannot leak. So let me show you what the actual guide in one of these Cummins heads looks like. This is our, our performance guide that we make. It's a heavy duty guide that's actually hardened to our specification along with being diamond honed once we install it compared to a factory softer material guide. All right, so let's talk about the fire ring and the O-ring, the differences between the two. So you have a fire ring, which is a usually generally a thicker O-ring or a steel ring compared to a piano wire that's a 40 to 50 thousandths ring, depending on application. So on a fire ring, we basically cut a groove that's half the thickness of, well, it's a determined thickness into the cylinder head and that, that floats in there, the, the, the wire floats in there. And then your gasket is machined and cut out so that it goes around the firing. So when your head or your block is bolted together, it's crushed into a specific dimension. Metal to metal seal on this one. On a piano wire slash O-ring, you have a basic o-ring that is in a groove of that protrudes seven to ten thousandths and the actual gasket it sits on the gasket and smashes into the gasket now which is better it depends on who's doing it what the experiences they've had we have had a tremendous good luck with the firing style and i would nearly say 60 to 70% of, of machine shops out there follow this procedure. On this performance head, we change the actual seat angles to match what we've determined on our, our valve. And what we, how we do that is we go in and we flow the stock one on our flow bench, and then we change seat angles, put in that seat, put it back in the flow bench and determine we want the maximum spool up and the maximum efficiency on the top end or the most flow we can get through it without sacrificing the flow numbers. On this performance head, you're gonna get a 95 pound valve spring. And then on our race head, you're gonna get a 115 pound valve spring. That's a little more insight to our performance head from Industrial Injection. For more information, check out industrialinjection.com. Be sure to check out other related engine videos. Again, I'm Dustin and I appreciate it.